Hello YouTube, this video is for um, attaching two XR100 rails together using a splice. Now there are actually two kinds of splices, there's an older kind, but this is for the boss kind of splice. This kind does not actually require you to drill screws into it. It looks like this, and the way this works is you basically have your splice location, and this goes right in and it goes all the way to the tab. Once you push both together, that's all you gotta do. You don't have to do anything further. Something I wasn't quite sure of when I was researching this whole project, but it turns out for the splice, the boss kind of splice, you do not actually have to um, drill any screws into the rail and attach them to the splice. So this goes right in. Um, obviously you wanna have your racks, your rails cut. So I have mine is cut right there. We got two of them that go straight all the way to the edge. So what we're gonna do today is go ahead and attach this um, splice. So it goes, slides right in, right there. Looks like this, so it just goes on the back side. And it attaches right there and you, you push them all the way until the tab attaches. So we're gonna do that. Here's what it looks like on the back. See, there's still more room. Go ahead and push. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort. And there is the tab. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Show you it in detail. There's my rack. Other side. Lines up perfectly. And then you just push both together until the tabs hook up. We'll go ahead and try to do that while filming. One thing I was going to mention, a uh, little hint. If you have a splice like this, it's a good idea to, instead of, before you attach the splice all the way through, use the little break in between to actually attach your bolt. So I've got, in my case, three on this side, three on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and actually slide that way you don't have to if you push the splice all the way through you'd have to put the bolts from one end to the other and you can have a long run so um, i believe the xr100 supports up to more than 100 feet but um this is this is making it a lot easier a lot faster to put your bolts through so i'll slide three on this side using this little break prior to in the in the rail and then i'll put three on the other side right here. And then I'll go ahead and finish attaching the splice. Um, I believe once you put the splice together, you probably don't want to take it apart unless you really have to. Um, but once you do that, then the splice is ready to go. And I can slide the, the bolts just, you know, a little bit of the way, half the way, instead of all the way through to get them attached. Okay, so I went ahead and pushed both rails together through the splice. As you can see, there is a divide exactly the way, the way I want it. Um, I got the three bolts on the right and the three bolts on the left. I'm going to go ahead and slide them all the way. Um, there's another video I made for actually um, attaching these um, bolts, but I'm going to go ahead and slide them all together. The, those bolts are designed not to slide very easily. The idea is to keep it as tight as possible. The squares in the back here are fit exactly where that groove is made. So go ahead and slide one all the way to where I want it. Obviously I don't have the rail lined up yet. I'll do that here shortly. Um, just to kind of show you how that attaches. You kind of get them close enough. Um, and then you go ahead and line the first and the last bolt and then you kind of line up in between and then it falls through the, the groove. 